I'm just entitling this message as proper foundation um, for releasing the gift. So the first one I would say is this. Operate out of relationship with the Lord and not based on methods or techniques. Don't focus on the techniques. Don't focus on the methods. Focus on your relationship with Jesus. We could actually get, we could become expert in the techniques, but are weakened in our relationship with Jesus. And that's a dangerous place to be. Second guideline I would present to us is to be established in your identity in God. Don't base your identity on your gifts or on your function. Some of us, we base our love, being loved by God, based on whether there was an expression of the gift or not. It's a sign of misplaced identity. Some of us, we misplace our identity, identity like this. You know, we, won't, we need to tell everybody else what God did through us to make ourselves feel good. If others must hear about you and how God used you in order to make you feel good, you've got a problem. Your identity must be settled in God. I don't care if people hear about me. It doesn't matter. It doesn't change who I am. Number three is this. Demonstrate Christ-like character. So while we are pursuing the gifts and while we are pursuing miracles and while we want to meet the needs of people through healings and miracles and demonstrations of power, which is good, which is what helps people experience and encounter Jesus, all that is good, don't forget your character is also important. If people think you're, you know, your your, your suspect character, you may give an accurate word of knowledge and they'll think, oh no, he looked it up on Facebook. Your character is what gives you access before people. It gives you liberty to work with people. They will listen to you if they trust you. The fourth one is to maintain accurate doctrine and be open to correction, stay teachable. The writer of Hebrews is telling us that these strange and various doctrines is like eating bad food. You're going to get stomach upset and worse. It's going to harm you. It's not going to do you any good. If God is using you powerfully, wonderful, but you must stay submitted to his word. The word of God is final authority in your life and mine. So, be willing to receive correction. Submit yourself to the word of God. Desire God to use you powerfully. Desire God to work through you. But be answerable to the word of God and to people around you so that we can stay, they can help us stay on track. Number five is develop self-restraint or the ability to keep my own impulses submitted to the Holy Spirit. That's very important. Hold back your own impulse. Listen to the Spirit of God. Amen? And that's something we must develop. Self-restraint. Be submitted to the Holy Spirit. Last one is to grow within a good local church community. This is so important for you and me. Stay around people who would encourage you in the gifts. Stay around people who would uh, help you nurture these gifts. Life groups are important. Being in a church where, you're, where you hear the word of God, where you're taught, you train, uh, to grow in these gifts is important. The body of Christ is pictured as a body, as a family, as an army. A body has many parts to it. An army has many soldiers. A family has many members. So stay planted. You know, the believers to be planted, to be rooted, to be established. And also walk in right right relationship with those who are your leaders. So for different areas of ministry, we have different leaders. People are overseeing. And it's important to maintain good relationships. So, while we are pursuing the supernatural, the gifts of God, the gifts of the Spirit, Wanting God to use us. Here are some basic foundations to keep us all safe. Don't deviate from these things because then it will, we may end up harming others, hurting other people, bringing reproach to the name of Jesus, and we do not want that. We want to stay in the Word, stay focused. Mm